and we're live. I have major damage to my house, and now what do I do? Hey, thanks for showing up for uh, uh, insurance tips for smart people. I wanted to talk today about uh, what happens when you have damage to your house, either by water or by um, uh, storms. For whatever reason that you have damage to your house, what do you do next? Well, the trick is to, first of all, take care of the problem to stop it uh, from being any worse, meaning if there's water coming in, try to cover it up. If there is water draining from pipes that exploded, then you wanna turn off the water. And then what you wanna do is either call a restoration company or your insurance agent. Um, if you call your insur insurance agent, they will be able to guide you to what you should be doing next. Um, basically, you wanna make sure that when you work with somebody on fixing your problem, that person is an insurance person, meaning that if it's a contractor, that the contractor has some experience working with uh, fixing damaged uh, houses. Um, what you wanna do is uh, make sure that they work uh, regularly with insurance systems called Xactimate, because there could be issues coming up that uh, you can't expect uh, to deal with as a, as a consumer. So let me give you a little bit of a story. Uh, one of my clients uh, recently had a water explosion of pipes in the house. Uh, water came through from the top floor to throughout the house. Um, they picked to use a contractor that is very good at what they do. However, they don't do insurance work. Well, the drawback to that is that the contractor did not realize that working with uh, uh, insurance is a completely different process and insurance companies use software called Xactimate to look at all of what is needed uh, to fix all those issues that uh, were damaged. So basically the process just became prolonged and painful for the client for the reason that the insurance company and the contractor just didn't speak the same language. Contractor had things in, in a quote that did not match the Xactimate or what they perceived to be uh, a proper uh, information that will fix the problem. And then uh, it just prolonged going back and forth, contractor to insurance company, insurance company to insured, meaning the client, client to contractor, so on and so forth. And I got involved. And what happened basically, the, 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 there was coverage for all these issues. The problem is agreeing to what each, each thing in the quote or the estimate of repair uh, is supposed to cover. So the idea is that if you're going to be working with anybody, make sure that they, they work with an uh, uh, insurance program or have worked with insurance before, and do they understand what Xactimate is. Um, unfortunately, most of the insurance companies use this software, and that's the language that they speak. So if you, uh, if you have any questions about how to work with this, um, that's what we're here for, Insurance Tips for Smart People. Um, check out that website. It's www.insurancetipsforsmartpeople.com. And also like our page and share this video when you see it. Um, if you have any questions regarding any kind of claim, what happens, when does it happen, what do you need to do, just uh, give me a shout out. I see that uh, I've got some people watching from Israel. I don't think this will apply to you. However, um, uh, those of you that are living in the United States, uh, will, will, it will apply, and you will be happy that you know that you need to talk to a contractor that is, is insurance uh, uh, reliable. If you have any questions, give me a shout. Again, uh, share the video. Tell your friends. We're going to have on a regular basis insurance tips for smart people, and uh, we will uh, continue this going on. Otherwise, have a great day, and thanks for watching.